Today I'm going to show you how to add a slideshow to your WebStarts website. You can add a slideshow quickly and easily with our Slideshow 2.0 app and I'm going to show you the steps right now. So let's get started. All you have to do is log into your editor. Uh, this is my home page of my guitar website. So I just clicked edit website to get here. And then once I'm here I'm going to go up to apps in the top. Some of you may have uh, your featured apps here and you can go ahead and click slideshow from here if you would like as well but we're going to show the example for not having that we're just going to click apps and then click slideshow 2.0 and this is going to load up where we're going to add our images the first step of the slideshow is to pick what pictures you'd like to use so I want to use this picture right here I don't want to use either of these two and I need a few more pictures for my slideshow so I'm gonna go ahead and click this button that says upload files from your computer I'm gonna upload all four of these here you'll see they'll upload and once they're uploaded I can just click them right down into my slideshow. Now your images are going to appear in the order that you put them in so if you want to change the order you simply uh, take them out and add them back in for example you could do this one again or you know what have you. So you can also add a title to the slideshows if you'd like to have an image title along the bottom we're going to leave that out for now I'm just going to do the basics today. After adding your images just click next step from here you have your manual controls and the horizontal transition effect, interval time, and pause on hover. Um, manual controls are those buttons left and right. So if you want those to be on or off, you just do that. I want them to stay on. You can turn them on or off up here. Now your transition effects are quite uh, lengthy. You can do a lot of different transitions. Um, just show you a couple here uh, for our sake. I like that one. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can do a fade zoom. I'm going to go ahead and stick with that one for my slideshow. Now, we can change the time of the slideshow as well. I'm going to go to 4 seconds. You can go anywhere between 0.25 and 5. Uh, I'm going to do 4 seconds. And I'm going to turn on pause on hover, meaning that when my mouse is over my image, it's going to stay there so that my visitors can uh, pause on an image and check it out for longer if they like. The mouse comes off and then the slideshow will go through like that. So, And then you can click the arrows to move it forward quicker. So now that I've got my slideshow looking exactly like I want it, I click insert slideshow and place it on the page. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller here. And bring it up top here and I like the way that looks so I'm gonna click save and that's it if you preview the page you'll see that your slideshow will be working and using that transitional effect that was set up before and that's it so if you uh, want to create a slideshow that's how for more tips and tricks like this or to create your own free website head to webstarts.com today